everyone. I am still messing around with some crayon rubbings and wanted to show you what happens when you use a white crayon or even the clear crayon you get from food coloring dyes, the Easter egg um, kits. That sometimes they come with a clear wax crayon. Love those. Use them up like crazy. But uh, this is done. Um, I did a whole bunch of stuff here with this white. And of course, white on white, you can't see it. So it'll be fun, I hope, for me to show you what I put on here. So this time, I am going to use a spray bottle with just some clear water and um, get my paper wet. You can see a little bit of it now. And then I'm going to get my watercolor out. And add just a little bit of color to it so you can actually see what's going on. So this is one way to add the watercolor to a page. You get the page wet and then just add a little bit of color to it and you can see what is going on. This way you don't add quite as much water. Doesn't take quite as long to dry. Um, but it does take a little while. I, I don't mind the process just adding color to something like this. So, and of course I want it to be a little splotchy. get any water over here and you can see that I did some rubbings with some texture plates um, this one here is the back of a Lego board this one is I think it's a fly swatter it had a handle to it that I ripped off got it at the Dollar Tree years back um, but I like the little squares or rectangles and that's what that one is there's some little dots here I didn't add very many of the little dots and that is the front of the Lego board and then over here I just took the crayon and colored a spiral some squares some circles you don't have to take make a texture of anything. You can actually just draw whatever you want and it will show up. So I'm going to add some splotchies because those are my favorite. If I can get enough water. There we go. They're my favorite. I like them. Um, And I will show you what that looks like tomorrow when it dries. Oh, some more splotchies. This is looking pretty good. Too bad my tray isn't quite long enough. But it will be good enough. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. So we'll just see what happens with that white on white when it dries. And then I have another one and I wanted to show you um, another way to add the watercolor. Take your squirt bottle, add some water to it. It's more of a mister, I guess. And then, oh, I need a smaller, a smaller brush. I'll just do it that way. 
Just add color to it. A little bit of color. It doesn't have to be really crazy. And then you can just mist the color right onto of course they're Dollar Tree um, it's a Dollar Tree thing so it might not work real well there it goes but that will add a little bit of color and you can make it as dark or as light as you want you can see the scribbles and the texture rubbings that I did and then again you know I like the splotches so I'm going to add some of those on top just an easier faster way to get the color to your paper I like the hand-drawn stuff. It's fun. Get enough splotches that so it will make me happy. The more the merrier, right? There we go. Green over here. And I will let that dry. And do another show and tell tomorrow. This is a fun technique to use. Um, of course, I've got a whole bunch of color in there now. Um, and I just, I love the results. So, oh, I've got this little one here. Let me put this to the side. I can use up some of that color. Another tray out so I can move it away from my workstation. Um, I don't really want to use blue on blue, so that's not going to work really well. Oh well, we'll use something else. I'll use some yellow. And just paint the color on like I did before. Time I'm not going to use too much water, just enough water to get color on there. So it's really a dark yellow. And you know I'm not happy with if it doesn't have any splotches. That doesn't work at all. No purple splotches. Should have known better. Let's use. There we go. More of a pink. I like how that shows up. So that's it. I'm going to stop fiddling now. 
if I can put some of that blotchies on there. Still not real pleased with this one. Maybe if I make it a little more green. I think it's the color that I'm not real fond of. Get some light blue on it and see what happens since I have space. All right, so I am done fiddling, she says, and then continues on. <laughs> it's a fun thing to just get going with and then I can't stop. So um, thanks for watching.